Hey guys, this is Tom Kuna from Cisco, and I'm going to give you a brief demo on how to sign on to the Cisco D Cloud, which is a modeling lab that will be used to um, do a um, uh, an IWAN um, lab build. And um, uh, to do that, you will need the Cisco AnyConnect Secure Mobility Client. Um, if you don't have it right now, uh, I would, I would uh, say that you would want to go ahead and get version um, four dot one or, or newer okay so um, you, before you do the labs you'll be um, emailed a set of credentials um, you'll have a host that you'll connect to that you'll put in the any, any connect um, window when you log on you'll have a uh, session credentials for the duration of the lab which uh, labs will typically be uh, reserved for anywhere from a few hours to potentially a few days if it's a long lab Okay, so once you connect, um, you will be in and connected to um, the portal where you'll have full access to your labs. Okay, so once in, if you're going to be doing the um, IWAN lab, you'll need remote desktop okay, to access and uh, a workstation that will have pre-built consoles, uh, links to all the uh, virtual machines that you'll need to do these labs. Um, the IP address is 198.18.133.36 for the IWAN labs. Uh, connect to that. Um, administrator, capital C1, SC012345 uh, are the credentials for that machine. And again, this is a, uh, a VM um, that would be sitting in the uh, virtual data center. Okay, so once on this machine, um, you will have uh, several things on your desktop. Um, you'll have MT Putty, which is the terminal emulator that you'll be doing using for the majority of the configuration exercises of the routers. Um, you'll have a WAN EM uh, impairment bridge that you can use to uh, induce delay or drops. Uh, you'll have shortcuts to Cisco Prime and live action that can be used in later exercises, um, as well as uh, shortcuts, um, remote desktop shortcuts to the other PCs at the virtual branches. Okay, so um, as a first step, you'll want to bring up PuTTY. Um, you'll notice that um, a set of sh uh, shortcuts have already been made, and uh, you can verify that you have connectivity to, in this case, R10, which is the Hubmaster Controller, logging in with admin, capital C1, SCO12345. Okay, now that I'm in, I'll do a quick show run to ensure that uh, the lab has been reset to the uh, base configs, meaning there are no performance routing, um, or in the cases of your branches, no DMVPN hubs. Looks like the hub MC has been reset. I'll jump into a spoke, and I'll do a show run there as well. I'll take a look. I don't see any tunnels. I don't see any PFR or BGP, so I know that I am now ready to begin the lab. Okay, so to begin the lab, um, you will want to start up the lab guide. Um, I've made a, uh, put a copy on the desktop of PC01. In this case, we're doing the Intelligent WAN Essentials Lab. Um, there's a full set of instructions, um, a lab guide with the expected outputs. Um, we've got the um, IP addresses and the network topology um, of the entire lab. And then we have a set of, uh, of host by host um, instructions that will be, uh, we will be following. Okay, so at this point, um, we'll go ahead and stop, and uh, we will resume back to the lecture, and then come back to the lab.